Hello everybody. Um, we're going to continue with our second grade Go Math discussion. Today we're on lesson 2.2, exploring three digit numbers. And we're on page 61 of the second grade Go Math textbook. And at the end of the lesson, you should be able to explain how do you write a three digit number for a group of tens. Okay, and so if you remember in our last lesson, we were working on circling groups of tens, right? Because every group of 10, tens is 100, right? And we talked about 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, right? So <clears throat> 10 tens is always 100. So let's look at this problem, okay? Mrs. Rodriguez has 30 bundles of straws. There are 10 straws in each bundle. How many straws does Mrs. Rodriguez have? Okay, so these 30 sets or bundles represent what she has. And in every bundle, there are 10 straws. So if we set this out as a model, we have 10, 20, 30 bundles of straws. And in every bundle, there's 10 straws. So if we circle groups of 10, okay, <clears throat> you'll remember that we traded our 10 rods for a hundred block, right? So every set of 10 tens is a hundred. So I know this is also going to be 10 tens because they're equally spaced from the one above it. Okay. And there's the same amount going across. So I know that that's also a set of 100. And then I know the bottom set of 10 tens is also a hundred. All right. So in 30 bundles of 10, we have three hundreds. Okay. Be careful not to write three zero zero hundreds. We don't have three hundred hundreds. We only have three hundreds. So how many straws is that? That's three hundred. We can say we have 30 tens. Okay, 30 tens is the same as three hundreds, which can be written as 300. All right, let's look at page 62. <clears throat> All right, what about this situation? What number is shown with 11 tens? Well, again, we know that 10 tens is 100. So we have 100 and an extra 10, or we could say 100 plus 10. So 110. So we have 11 tens, 10 tens, plus one more 10, 11 tens. 10 tens is 100, and we have one 10 left over. So 110. <clears throat> so we'd say there's a one in the hundreds place and a one in the tens. So 11 tens, we know that, that 10 tens is 100. And we have the 110 left. All right, so circle tens to make 100 and write the number in different ways. So we have 510. And we know we can exchange that for 100. And we have two tens left over. So we have 12 tens, which is the same as 100. And how many tens? Two tens. So if we have 100, that would be 100 in the, a one in the hundreds place, two in the tens place, so 120. 120. Two tens is 20. All right, let's look at number two. <clears throat> Again, let's find out how many tens we have. Well, I know this is one set of 10 tens. I'm going to trade those 10 tens for 100, and I have three tens left over. So 10 tens 
plus three more tens is 13 tens. How much do we have? We have 103 tens. 103 tens. So how do we write that number? Well, 13 tens I know is 130. 100, 10, 20, 30. Three tens, 30. 130. All right, let's look at this number three. So we have 10 tens again. I'm going to trade that for a hundred block. And I have four left over. So this time I have 14 tens, which means I have 100 and four tens. I'll have one in the hundreds place. I'll have four in the tens place. And I'm going to have zero in the ones place, 140. Right, four tens is 40, so 100 plus 40, 140. Now, one of the things that you're gonna, you'll learn in third grade, actually, is that when we say 14 tens, it's the same as saying 14 times 10. And we know that any number times 10 is that number with a zero at the end. So 14 times 1 is 14, and put the 0 to represent the tens. Okay? So we learned different patterns of multiplying by tens in third grade. And so this is the beginning blocks of that. Okay? All right, 63. Circle tens to make 100 and write the number in different ways. So we know that these two sets of 5 tens is 10 tens. I can trade that for 100, and we have two, four, five more tens. So this time we have 15 tens, which is going to be 100 and five tens. Okay. So this model, let's just look at the different ways we can say, well, okay, there's 15 tens here, right? Or I could say, well, no, there's these 10 tens is 100 and then 5 tens. So I could say 100, 5 tens. And then I can write the value of those 10 rods. <clears throat> I'd have a 1 in the hundreds place. I'd have a 5 in the tens place. So 150. 5 tens is 50. Let's look at number 5. So we have a set of 10. I'm going to trade that for 100. And then I have 5, 6, 7, 8. So I have 18 tens, right? 10 and 8 more is 18. So we have 100 and 8 tens or 180. Number 6. So I have a set of 10 tens, which I can trade for a hundred block. Now I have another set of 10 tens. So I'm going to trade those also for a hundred block. So this time we have 20 tens. 10 and 10 is 20. So 20 tens, which is the same as two hundreds. There aren't any tens left over. So there's going to be zero tens. So we just write 200. 2 in the hundreds place, 0 in the tens place, 0 in the ones place. Because there weren't any ones either. All right, number 7. Kendra has 120 stickers. 10 stickers fill a page. How many pages can she fill? All right, well, let's look at this. We have 120 total, and we have 10 stickers on a page. That's the same thing here, basically, right? We could say 10 stickers, 20 stickers, 30 stickers, 40 stickers, 50 stickers, so on, right? So we can just count forward until we get to 120. We could also work backwards, right? So let's look at this one. We had 180. Well, in 180, how many hundreds are there? There's 108 tens. So in 120, we could say there's one 
hundred and two tens. So 108 tens was the same as 18 tens. So 100 is 10 tens plus two more would be 12 tens. Okay, so that's one way we could do it. I could also draw ahead and draw the picture of it. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And then two more tens. So there's 120. Every 10 stickers is a page. All right, so how many pages do we have? Well, we have 10 here, 11, 12. 12 pages, right? Because we have 12 sets of tens. All right, page 64. Solve, write, or draw to explain. All right, so there are 16 boxes of crackers, and there are 10 crackers in each box. And again, in third grade, we learned that when we see this in each, that means we can multiply in third grade. So we're going to go, we could say 16 times 10. So I know that right now there's 160. But how can I show that drawing a picture? So we have 16 boxes, 10 crackers in each box. That's the same thing as saying 30 bundles, right, of 10 straws. The very first problem we looked at. So let's draw our 16 boxes. Okay, there's 10 in every box. 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right, so 16 boxes of 10. Well, we know we can exchange 10 tens for 100. And then we have how many tens? Two, four, six tens. So we have 100. and six tens, but well, that's the same as 160. So there are 160 crackers in 16 boxes of crackers. All right, number nine. Simon makes eight towers of 10 blocks each. Ron makes nine towers of 10 blocks each. How many blocks did they use? They, okay, so we can draw a picture and we can show Simon. Simon had eight towers of 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's Simon's. And Ron had nine towers of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So, how many blocks did they use? <clears throat> well, look here. Let's see. So, Simon only has eight. So, I can't change any of those for a hundred block, right? Ron has nine, which again, I can't change that for a hundred. But what if we took the five from Simon and the five from Ron? So, we could say together, they have one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right? Five and five, ten. And then we also have four, five, six, seven. So seven more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can trade ten tens for a hundred. And then there's going to be seven tens or one hundred seventy. So eight blocks of nine over eight tens, right? Simon has eight tens. Ron has nine tens. So we have a total of 17 tens. And that's what the picture shows.
17 tens. All right, and number 10. Ed has 150 marbles. How many bags of 10 marbles does he need to get so that he will have 200 marbles in all? Well, <clears throat> so he has 150 marbles. He needs more marbles to get to 200. So how many bags of 10 marbles does he need to get so that he will have 200 in all? Hmm. Well, let's see what he's got right now, right? So he's got one, two, three, four, five. That's 50. That's 100, right? 10 tens is 100. One, two, three, four, five. So that's what he has right now. He's got 150 or 15 tens. In 200, 10 tens equals 100. I need 200. So I need a total of 20 tens to equal 200. How many does he have right now? He's got 5, 10, 12, 14, 15 tens. So here's 100, right? We can trade that 10 tens for 100. How many tens do we have to add so I can trade it for another set of hundreds? Well, I need 10 tens. Well, there's five of them. So one, two, three, four, five. So that would be 200. So we have to add these tens. This is what he has. This is what I would need in order to trade it for the second hundred. So he has 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So I need five bags of 10. Five tens is 50. All right, so that's that's it for our second lesson of chapter two. So until our next lesson, I will see you soon.